Okay, well, I'm trying to get rid of the evil spirits. The evil spirits in the room. You know, whenever I do these Stephen King reviews in my library here, I have all of these candles lit and the lights are down dim. And if you've been following these reviews, you know the weird supernatural stuff happens in these videos. Like just weird, crazy stuff happens. And I'm going to tell you, I'm trying to get rid of those evil spirits out of this room. So let's keep the candles to a minimum. We're going to leave the lights on and hope that nothing goes wrong. So by way of introduction, I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. And this is my YouTube channel where I review books and we are reviewing every Stephen King novel in order of publication. And we are to Nightmare and Dreamscapes his short story collection. So we're like almost halfway, halfway through the Stephen King collection. Starting in 1973 with Carrie. Now we're all the way up to 1995 with, what did I say? Well, oh, night, Nightmares and uh, Dreamscapes. I've got two different versions here. I've got the little paperback version. And we got the hardcover version. You know, we talk a lot about the covers and the packaging, because you know on my channel I love graphic design, I love book covers, I love illustration. So when we get to compare and contrast two different, well, let's just face Stephen King books, they got so many different covers. These are the ones I got. I like the hardcover. This is the original hardcover with the scarecrow. This is the um, paperback that has the little uh, photoshopped thing of Dolan's Cadillac. And we'll talk about that in a little second here. But I like the hardcover version a lot more. Nightmares and Dreamscapes, man. I also have been listening to all the audible.com versions of these books. I've been reading along in the books as I listen to the audible.com narration. With the exception of this one. And let me tell you why. Because this is not for sale on audible.com as a complete collection of short stories. It's like for sale as like 10, like every short story is a different sale you gotta, I wasn't gonna pay, cause there's 23 stories, I'm only gonna pay for 23. You get what I'm saying. All of his other short story compilations are, to, are, are in one audible.com, but then, uh, you know. So I didn't listen to anything. I didn't listen to any of them. I had to read them the old fashioned way. With my eyeballs on the page, and nothing going through my ears. Just what I saw with my eyeballs had to be processed into my brain. There was no voice actor telling me what I was reading. It made it actually okay. I don't mind. As I said, I don't mind doing it that way. I've done it that I read thousands of books. I listen to thousands of books. I'm fine either way. I was just trying to do the do y'all a little extra favor by reviewing the audible.com versions of these books too, but I didn't get to do it with this one. But the uh, Nightmares and Dreamscapes. 1993 or 95, I can't remember which. My crack research team flubbed up that part of the video. They didn't research it correctly. It's 93, 94, or 95. 23 stories. You know I don't like short stories. I don't like short stories at all. I love novels. I like big, epic novels. I like big, long, drawn-out series of novels. Short stories just ain't my thing. It's hard for me to get through these. Stephen King is the only short is the only author I collect the short stories from, so I give him a chance because he's my mainest man. And I got to tell you, I, I've liked some that I, but I don't like most. Same with this collection, although. Dolan's Cadillac. Let's just talk about the first, the very first story in this book. Dolan's Cadillac. If you're a young writer, you need to study Dolan's Cadillac, the story, and, and see how Stephen King puts that, puts that story together with very minimal dialogue. But just from the opening sentence, you're like, this is a great story. His opening 
And, and, and the little history on Dolan's Cadillac is Stephen King wrote it and hated it, put it in his trunk, didn't like it, did not like it, pulled it out years later, reread it, and was like, God, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. That happens a lot with me. There's a lot of novels that I read that I don't like initially. Then I reread them years later, and then years later, and they become my favorite book. Writers do the same thing. And Stephen King with Dolan's Cadillac hated hated it when he first wrote it. Never wanted to publish it. Pulled it out later. Took a relook at it. And was like, this is pretty good. And he thought it was so solid that he led the he. It was the lead story in this book, and it was awesome. And if you're a young writer, you know, I do writing advice video videos and I sometimes try to put writing advice into my book reviews. Read Dolan's Cadillac if you want to learn how to hook people from the start and keep them going with a story that uses very little dialogue. And what's Dolan's Cadillac? There's 23 stories in here. I'm only going to talk about a handful because most of them I was just kind of like, eh, eh, didn't really care. But Dolan's Cadillac, it's my favorite Stephen King short story of all time. And it's in this book, Nightmares and Dreamscapes. It's about a dude whose wife is killed. His wife sees some mobsters, some Las Vegas mobsters doing mobster shit. And she witnesses it. And so the state wants to use her as state witness to, do, to uh, testify against him. Well, the mobsters put out a hit on her and she gets killed. And then our hero, Ralph, he's like, uh, at least I think his name's Ralph. I don't know. Might have been something else. No, it's not Ralph. Ralph is from the story I'm reading right now, Insomnia, the Stephen King book. Uh, don't remember who's, like, like I said, the crack research team did not give me the information. They did not not remind me who the main character in Dolan's Cadillac was. The bad, the ba the bad guy is Dolan because it's his Cadillac. He's the mobster. Dolan is the mobster who puts the hit out on the woman. The woman's husband decides he's going to take revenge on the mobsters. And so he follows, he trails Dolan, the mobster Dolan, in his Cadillac all the time, trying to figure out how can I kill this guy. He's always got bodyguards, and his Cadillac is like decked out like an armored tank. How am I going to kill this guy? Well, he cleverly gets a job as uh, working on a road crew in the Nevada deserts and figures out a way. And I don't want to spoil any of this for you. And Stephen King even said that most research he ever did for any story was in Dolan's Cadillac when he had to research how the Nevada Highway Services built highways. <laughs> but I got to tell you, it's one of the most clever, like, little mobster stories you're going to ever read. I loved it. Right from the get-go, right from the gate, right out of the gate, we got a massively awesome Stephen King story. And then it's all downhill from there. And it's all, it's, it's just, just I didn't care for many of these stories, even though, you know, Stephen King's my mainest man. Love all of his stuff. I got all of his stuff here. But there are some cool stories. I mean, Chattery Teeth. There are, it's a story about those little chattery teeth you can buy. <laughs> Steve, it, it's, it's called Chattery Teeth. It's uh, People buy chattery teeth and, you know, Stephen King stuff happens with the chattery teeth. You know something like chattery teeth ain't gonna be good. Stephen King and chattery teeth, you know it's like, them teeth are gonna be, you, 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 you get where I'm going with it. It's pretty decent, it's a little fun story. Um, dedication, that's a good story, I enjoyed that. That's about an author of famous. Stephen King, Stephen King got the inspiration for dedication where he went in to meet a, uh, an author he really liked. And uh, the, the guy was a douchebag. The guy was a sexist, racist, just straight douchebag. And Stephen King was like, oh my gosh, this guy's a brilliant writer and he writes brilliant stuff. How can he be such a douche? And so he wrote a story about uh, dedication. A, uh, it's a story about an author who's kind of a douche. It's pretty clever. I liked it because it talked a lot about writing and, and you know, being an author, things like that. Um, uh, so the, another story that was pretty good was, you know, they've got a hell of a band. And kind of the theme of that is kind of like, you know, all the musicians like Jim Morrison and uh, Kurt Cobain and Jimi Hendrix. A lot of these guys, they die young. They die young. So it's kind of like, where do they go? They've got a hell of a band. You know, they got a hell of a band down in hell. Where all the band, you know what I'm saying? Where they all went. Where did they go? 
And what are they doing now? Well, they got a hell of a band. Um, My Pretty Pony, that was decent. I liked that. Um, That's kind of like a failed uh, backwards book about um, kind of a hitman. Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, that one was okay, My Pretty Pony. Uh, another one that I liked was Umni, Umni. I think it was called Umni's Last Call. Uh, it's very, um, you know, Stephen King was talking about how much he likes uh, Raymond Chandler mystery books, you know, like the, uh, you know, like stuff like the Maltese Falcon. You know, he really likes those hard boiled mysteries. And that was Umni's Last Case was sort of his attempt to write a, like a really hard boiled mystery you know that humphrey bogart could star in or something like that it's a decent story i mean of the 23 stories what did i pick out like one two three four five six seven maybe seven seven that i thought were really good dolan's cadillac absolute perfection absolute perfection i love that i love that if it was just if every story would have been like dolan's cadillac this would have been 10 out of 10 but i'm going to give it seven out of 10 maybe 6.5 i don't know We'll go seven. 6.5, but Dolan's Cadillac bumps it up to a seven. How's that sound? No evil spirits have bothered me yet. I think the one candle has done it. We'll see. Video's not over yet. And maybe things were moving around in the background and you just didn't notice. Or did you? Every novel I write is dedicated to Stephen King, Motley Crue, and the Oakland Raiders. I'm giving them a shout out. They get a shout out in every book I write because they were the three most important things to me when I was a kid. So Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Next on the list is Insomnia. We will get to that soon.